Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, I just want to take a few minutes to just share an experience uh, that happens uh, with me and my family uh, during the past six weeks. My oldest brother, who lives in Rhode Island, he's about 49, who uh, he was hospitalized and he had a seizure. And through the seizure, they find out that he has a mass in his brain and his front right lobe. Um, so he had a mass in his brain, so through the seizure. So my brother and I, six weeks ago, we went and visited him, spent some time with him and prayed with him briefly. And then we came back home. So he had to go to see a neurologist the week after, and also he had to also take another additional MRI to see exactly what the mass is all about. So a week after, while at work, it was on a Wednesday, I received an email from HR department and they said, are you aware that your, in the email, are you aware that your teaching certificate has been expired? Like, teaching certificate expired? No, I'm not aware of that because it's been close to 11 years I haven't been teaching. Um, I'm currently an administrator or supervisor of math, so I haven't been in a classroom or teaching for the past 11 plus years. So the next day, I had to go to the superintendent office to talk about the reason why, why this particular certificate has been expired close to nine, 10 years ago. So her and I, we went up to the county, the Union County Board of Education in Westfield. We went to the licensing department and they was going through the paperwork. They, they identified that since 2002 when I received my teaching certificate of mathematics, they, the state had issued me a teaching certificate that was a non-citizen. So five years later, the certificate had expired. So I was like, okay, what does that have, you know, what does that mean, you know? So the licensing person said that I have to reapply to the state and that they have to determine to see whether or not they will issue me a teaching certificate. And that can take two, three weeks, a month, or even a couple months. And you may have to take the tests Again, this is a test which I took in year 2000, 2001. You may have to take this test in order to meet the current expectation in 2016. I'm like, oh, taking a math exam where they may have changed the exam at least two times already because this is a gap of 15 years ago. So after talking with them, they contacted the state. As we were getting ready to leave, going downstairs, they told us to wait. And they said, after contacting the state, um, you don't have to take the exam. So I was like, okay, that's a, that was a relief because what usually happened is you would normally get terminated and then you would have to apply to ETS in order to set up a date to take this exam and you would have to study for this exam for God knows how long. And usually from even speaking with the person at the Union County Board of Education, they mentioned that people have gone and take those exams multiple times and some of them are still um, unable to pass the exam. So come to find out at the state level that when I took the test on 2001, the score was um, that I scored was 156 in 2001. At the time, the score, the expectation was 130. However, in 2016, the expectation has gone up now where the expectation in order for you to deem a math teacher or so is now, with my current test, is 150. So, <laughs> you're talking about a six point difference. Six point could have been on the other side. So I was like, okay, that's, that's good. So all I have to do now is just have to apply, which may take a few more weeks or a few more 
um, in order to get this teaching certificate. However, um, the Board of Education, even um, our superintendent, what usually have to happen until you receive that teaching certificate, even though you have a supervisor administration, they say you would more normally get terminated from the current position and then have to reapply and have to go through the whole 15 plus years down the drain and start back again. However, two days later, went to work, HR contacted me. Please report to HR office. So I was in a room. While in that room, my phone rang, my brother, my oldest brother called from Rhode Island. His voice, you could hear something was wrong. And he was just telling me, you know, he's meeting with the neurologist right now, and they identified that his, the mass is cancerous. So his voice was, you know, crying about, okay, I don't know, this is, I don't know what he's talking about. So his mind, I mean, he, he was just saying that he's not sure what's going on. So, you know, he and I was on the phone just saying, we're going to go through this. We're going to get through this. It's going to be okay. We're going to go through this together, you know, just, you know, we, we're going to pray about it. You know, things going to be okay. As we, I'm talking to him, he's an HR person coming in the office to say, Sam, you're going to be suspended without pay until this whole issue is taken care of. So as I'm talking to him and now hearing this HR person, you know, the blow was a little bit easier, but at the same time, it was still a blow. So then we got off the phone and we kind of have to deal with the situation and see what's happening. Now the decision was made, before they make a decision like this, they had to talk to their board lawyer, board members prior to this decision being made. So there was a lot of uh, decision making taking place, a lot of conversation taking place prior to them making this decision. So the week later, so now I had some time to go and see my brother who lives in Rhode Island. So my mom, my dad, and my brother, we got together and we drove up to Rhode Island doing a Tuesday and we spent some time with my brother. The minute we entered the door um, and my mom and dad sat down, my older brother just went to his knees and spoke to my parents and asked them for forgiveness for anything that he had done wrong. I know I wasn't the best child. I know I've done a lot of things to make you guys um, hurt. Um, please forgive me. And this was the very first time I seen something in that nature. So he asked my parents for forgiveness. And, and we stayed there. We ate together. We prayed with him. Um, we left in a good state. So that happened on a Wednesday. The following week, which was June 15th, less than seven to eight days once I applied for the state for the teaching certificate, the state of New Jersey, the Department of Ed, issued my license in less than seven to eight days. The HR contacted me that same day at about 4.30 before the day closed and called, they say, Sam, you can report to work on Thursday, June 16th. An hour later, right after I got off the phone with HR, my brother called me, leaving MRI. He said, Sam, the people at the MRI, they, they don't know what they're looking at right now. They said they're looking at two different brain scans. They can't see no abnormality with one, this current MRI test that they've gone through. So they don't see any trace of a mass, any trace of cancer. They don't see anything at all. And he, they, they, they can't see any trace at all. God is just so awesome. Let me just add two 
Let me just give you one more thing that at the first service I didn't tell them. So the Wednesday, they hearing both good news. The next day, I had to report back to work, which was a Thursday. That day that I had to return back to work was the day that, which was a Thursday, June 16th, the Board of Education for my district was having their board meeting. And this just so happened that day was a day that they wanted to give, they had scheduled to give an excellent certificate and award to a golf team that I just so happened to be part of coaching as well. They had rescheduled that excellent reward months ago. They just so happened to schedule it on June 16th. So that day, people that were talking about termination and suspension I had to shake their hand for receiving an award. A table being prepared for many of you. Let me just say, last but not least, there are so many things with it. Let me just give you one more. One last one. Let me just tell you, whatever it is that you're going through, it's not for you. It's not. June 16th, on Sunday, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, right? June 19th. It just so happened the deacons had scheduled, I was on the schedule for prayer that usually happened in the morning. It just so happened the second person who came up for prayer said, Deacon Sam, my nephew, was just hospitalized last night and he had a seizure and he has a mass in his brain. Anything, I'm just telling you, God's timing, there's, no, there's none like it. It just so happened I could say that my brother went through something similar. The same God who healed my brother can also heal yours. So our God is awesome. He is beyond awesome. <laughs> the same God we serve that you read about, he can still do whatever it is that you're going through. And he knows what you, whatever it is that you're going through. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. Yeah, somebody praise God. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Tell two people, I told you God was awesome. I told you it was awesome. I told you it was awesome. Yeah. God is awesome. Yes, Lord. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yesterday, today, and forever. What an awesome God. Yes, yes.